Hello, my name is Ren, and in preparation for the 2018 Oscars, I've been giving out my predictions in small, 1-4 to four minute videos for each category. The category covered in this video is Best Documentary. The nominees are Strong Island, Last Men in Aleppo, Icarus, Abacus, Too Small to Jail, and Faces Places. Strong Island is the only film in this category I didn't care for. This was a prime example of why being too close to your subject matter can be a problem. The film is about a grieving man who seeks answers after his brother's killer walks free with no charges. The film covers about 45 minutes of material in a bit more than an hour and a half. A part of me feels guilty that this is the first documentary made by a trans person that's been nominated, and in that respect, I would have personally preferred the documentary that actually featured a trans activist, The Death and Life of Marsha P. Johnson. Abacus Small Enough to Jail was a compelling documentary about a locally owned Chinese bank that is charged with fraud during the subprime mortgage crisis in 2008. Icarus starts out as a documentary about doping, then unfolds into a compelling expose on Russia's conspiracy to cheat the drug testing system at the Olympics. It is an incredibly visual and well-edited film and doesn't drag for a moment. Last Men in Aleppo details the day-to-day -day lives of the White Helmets, a rescue organization of first respondents of airstrikes in Syria. The footage they manage to capture is shocking and harrowing, and you experience how the work is taking a personal toll on their psyche. So much death. It's a hard watch, but definitely a recommend. Lastly, we have Faces Places. What a sweet little film. This was the most accessible out of all the picks, being sort of a platonic Harold and Maude story about two artists that come together to make art and film, the film being presented. I know the whole let's make a movie together just cuz might sound forced, but it really isn't. And well, Agnes Varda was one of the biggest pioneers of the French New Wave, and she's still making films at an old age but is younger at heart than most filmmakers today. Faces Places was great, and my personal favorite of the bunch. Last Men in Aleppo certainly has a very strong chance of winning, since the filmmakers couldn't get visas into the United States, and that worked for Asghar Farhadi, who won last year for Best Foreign Language Film. Also, the best documentary short last year was The White Helmets, so, touching on the same topic for a feature might give it an edge. But I really think Faces Places is going to win by a landslide. It's a celebration of a female filmmaker who pioneered the medium and is still working today. And she would be the oldest person ever to receive an Oscar, a fact that she cares nothing about. What do you think will win Best Featured Documentary? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that like button become a subscriber, and if these videos help you win any Oscar bets, maybe donate some of your earnings to Patreon. After February 20th, I lost my YouTube partnership status, so I no longer make money on these videos anymore, but I'll continue to put content out because, well, I like to. Thank you so much for watching, and keep holding your heads high.